This computer program here is a machine learning or artificial intelligence uh, circuit designer. That is, you, you give it the general form of uh, what, what the circuit you want to look like. like for example, you may say, build me a um, single transistor amplifier with a voltage divider bias. It's an existing known configuration, but then um, you tell it, I want you to find, I want you to basically calculate what components I should use in, in my class A amplifier to give me the optimum results. And then the computer will go through and try a whole bunch of different values, a whole bunch of different components until it, it starts finding a trend um, of what components start to work and it follows that trend until it's able to maximize the performance and so I just ran here I'll run it again so you can see well it doesn't it only takes a second to run um, it finished in about 0.3 seconds which is pretty good it made 46 attempts and in the end it was able to build a single stage transistor amplifier with a power gain of about 7,000, which means the little uh, signal going into the amplifier will come out of the amplifier you know, 7,000 times stronger, which is, which is actually very good for a single transistor. I am testing a circuit that a computer algorithm generated. Okay, so this is, well, it's a transistor amplifier and in particular it's a voltage divider bias transistor amplifier. Now we learned how to do these in school uh, many times however what's different about this is that I, I had a computer program select uh, resistor values in order to optimize the power output of the or actually, in this case, it's optimizing voltage. Let's see, power. Yeah, power gain. It basically, it's it's trying to make the computer program select the resistors to give the best power output for uh, the amplifier circuit. And you know, a few things surprising in class: the R1, R2 values for the the voltage divider were usually you know 10 k, 15 k, or something like that. Um, the computer selected a 1M and a 3.3M, or you know, 1 million, 3.3 million. So those are much different than the ones we used in class. So I'm very excited to see if this circuit will perform. Um, here I've calculated, actually the computer told me it should have a voltage gain of around 172, which is just good, which is very good actually for a transistor a class A amplifier. Power gain of about six, uh, seven thousand, and output compliance of seventy-four percent, which means with a twelve volt supply, uh, seventy-four seventy-four percent of that is, you know, almost nine volts. Um, so we should be able to see about nine volts on the output before it starts clipping. So I actually do have this running on the oscilloscope right now. It has a 10, let's see, the function generator is creating a 10 millivolts um, peak to peak output and so sine wave at 1 kilohertz and you can see we actually do have some clipping going on on the bottom portion of the sine wave is being uh, rounded off. So let's take a look and see what uh, voltage we actually have present here. So we'll look at the peak to peak voltage is 1.86. Let's check and see what I calculated. Um, the expected V out is 1.72, which is actually very close to 1.86, and maybe within about 10%. So a slightly more gain, actually. I would say this is probably. Well, if, it's, if it was 10, 10 millivolts and 1.82 coming out, that's 180, about 185, um, about 185 gain, which means the 
circuit multiplies the voltage by 185. That's pretty cool. Um, I would like to know, you know, what's, uh, how come it's clipping? It seems like from the math, it should have had much more. In fact, it, I was thinking it would start clipping at uh, about plus full, let's see, plus 4.7. Let's see, let's check the paper. Uh, yeah, it should have been able to go all the way to a positive four and down, swing down to minus 4.8 but it appears that we are clipping at less than minus one volt, about minus, oh no, 0.7 volts it's clipping. So that's definitely something that's different from what we calculated, but the voltage gain is there. So now I'm curious as to what's causing the clipping, but also very excited that the circuit has the voltage gain that we predicted and is performing pretty close to what the computer expected it was. And this circuit could actually, I think that, I mean, aside from the odd output compliance, I think the circuit could actually be useful and is doing a good job of making, you know, a good use of the components. So, you know, the purpose of this project was to try to have the computer optimize the resistor values so that you can you know, waste as little energy as possible and really get the most bang for your buck. And I think that it's kind of close to that. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got questions about what's going on here, you can ask them in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.